Hey guys, this is Carrie Myers, and I'm going to show you how to turn your watermark into a uh, paintbrush. Makes it super easy to just stamp it on your image and then save for wet. So I've got my image open. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go up to File and create a new Photoshop document. You don't need to name it, doesn't really matter. Um, but what you do need to do is make sure that your background contents is set to transparent. And um, up here under width and height, you want to make sure it's set to pixels. Think about the size that you need. Um, my watermark is copyright Carrie Myers Photography. So that's long um, and short. So I need to make sure that it's um, about 900 pixels wide and 300 pixels tall will give me enough space. Uh, to do what I need to do. Um, so next I'm going to hit OK and it'll open up a new Photoshop document. Now at this time you're going to go over and grab your text tool and before you create your text box you want to go up here to color and you want to change it to black. Um, just for right now when you're creating the, the paintbrush. Once it's created you can go ahead and change it later um, to any color that you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the code for black and hit OK. Um, and then you want to pick the font that you want for your watermark. I'm just going to leave it at Century Gothic for now. Alright, and you're going to create your text box inside here and um, just type your text. The um, shortcut for copyright on a Mac is Option G. Alright, I'm having trouble typing today. Okay, I'm going to hit OK, check up here, and then just um, move this down a little bit. I didn't use up all the space, that's fine, so I'm going to crop around it. Okay, so, okay, now I'm ready to save it as a brush. So to do that, you're going to go up to Edit and then down to Define Brush Preset. You want to go ahead and name your brush, uh, KMP Logo, KMP Watermark, whatever you want to call it, and hit OK. Alright, now once you've got your image open and you're ready to put your watermark on it, you just go over to your paintbrush and go up here to select the different um, kinds of brushes and the one you just created will be down at the very bottom. So you can select that paintbrush and it acts just like a paintbrush would. You can make it bigger or smaller. You can change the color of it. I'm going to do, let's see, a lighter color and then you just stamp it on your image as uh, you would a paintbrush. Super easy. Now you're ready to resize and save for web and put it on Facebook. Alright, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed this short little tutorial. Have a good day.